Hello, I'm Tim uh, Belke from Quiet Woods RV. I'm going to give you a walkthrough on this uh, Salem 178BHSK. Pretty much on the door here, you're going to have what they call a lever lock. You're going to have a deadbolt lock here. The grab handle here is just going to lift up and turn. Steps here are just going to rotate up. And then you're just going to push the whole thing in. And just pull out. You're going to have four stabilizers that you'll use three quarter inch socket on. You're going to have to allow yourself eight feet for your awning to come all the way out. So on your site, you'll have to give yourself eight feet. The lights for the awning will turn on inside. Furnaces are going to vent hot air through here, through the side. Fresh water tank fill is going to be on this side. So you're just going to put water and this is going to work off the pump system. Okay. The drain is going to be right underneath the camper. This is going to be your water heater here. Okay. This one here is going to be strictly gas only. Okay. It's going to be a three time try just like your furnace inside. So it's going to try three times the light. If it doesn't lighten that third time, the water heater is going to go to fault. On your furnace, it's just going to shut off. So you have to cycle it back through if you want the furnace to come back on. Refrigerator here is going to, this is going to be the vent here. So when it comes to washing this, you don't want to spray water directly in here. Okay. And then it's going to vent through the roof. Outside electrical here, this is going to be hooked up to the GFI, which is going to be the resettable outlet, which will probably be in the bathroom. This outside refrigerator here is going to be strictly gas or electric only. Okay. This is going to be a cooktop grill. This is just going to pull out here. You're going to have a gas line, which is going to come with this. And it's going to be just like a quick air fitting to put that on. And then this is going to be just turn it and it's going to automatically spark. Grease tray here. So when you are cooking outside, Inside here, you're also gonna have what they call USB chargers on the wall. The door here, this is gonna have holes, so if it ever did bag up with water, it's just gonna run out and run outside. These clips here are to hold the door when you're using it. Sewer hose is gonna go in the back bumper. These caps will just pull off. Outside water here, this is going to be hot and cold water, so when you're up running, you'll have, and just got to make sure you winterize it when it comes time to winterize. Spare tire is going to be on the back. This is where your license plates are going to hook up on here. Okay. Now, getting closer to the dump station here now. The big gate valve here is going to be for sewer. You're going to hook your sewer hose on here. And then the gray one is going to be to wash sink water, shower water. This one here is going to be what they call a sewer flusher. So if you get to the dump station, you'd be able to hook up a hose here and flush out your black tank. Okay, this one's going to be the city water. So whatever, wherever you go camping, this is going to be what pressure you're going to have. It is also screened here. So if you're not getting the pressure that you had before, maybe you want to check the screen. Um, your cord here is just going to come off. This thing will unscrew. Just give it a quarter turn. That'll come off. Then you take your cord with you. This one here, just line up the bottom one. That'll hook into here. Turn it and then turn this back tight. Slide. I usually put my back against it and that'll give you enough room to run your slide out. So if once you get on the site, that's a quick way to reference when you get your camper on your site. You're gonna to have to check the tops of your slide before you run them in. On these slides here, you don't wanna block them up. You wanna run this thing at least once a month when you are camping though. Bring it in, make it work. Otherwise, when you're out there, it won't work. The one thing I did forget is if you got cable, that cable would hook up here and that would go inside the camper. This is gonna be storage here. Same just like the other other door here and then you got storage pass through all the way here up in the front here there's going to be a connector here to hold your seven way so it doesn't get dirty 
two and five sixteenths ball. This is gonna help you get on and off your truck. Jack, safety chains are gonna be here. You're gonna have what they call a breakaway here. So if this ever broke away from your vehicle, with the battery on here, you'll be setting the brakes, okay? 20 pound cylinder propane, you can have it filled by yourself or you can take it in and exchange the tank. On the regulator here, this one's not gonna have a changeover, so this one's just gonna be straight directly 20 pound cylinder. Now once you turn on the propane here, then you'll have to bleed out the air out of the lines every time. Okay, deep cycle battery is going to go on here. Red's going to be positive, black's going to be negative. Don't want to hook them up backwards. This thing is equipped with a solar. So if you've got a solar panel you want to put it on, then this would actually have a little clip here, come off, hook up to your battery, and you'd be charging off the sun. Just another option. So we can go inside now. Okay, when you come on in here, you're gonna have your awning button here, and you're gonna have your slide out button. You're gonna have your water pump, your water heater, your lights, which will be here. This light will be the outside light. Then you're gonna have for your uh, tanks, you're gonna have battery, tell you how much battery life by just pushing the little black thing. Fresh water tank, which is gonna fill up, run off the pump. Black, which is gonna to be toilet. Gray, which is gonna be your shower sink water. Okay, that's gonna be all the buttons here. You're gonna have a fire extinguisher right here. Okay, and then over here, this is gonna be what they call a gas leak detector. This thing is always gonna be on. So if you're not gonna be plugged in, you're not gonna be using your camper, maybe you wanna take one of the leads off the battery. That way you don't kill it. Okay. On this grill here, stove top, when you're cooking inside, you'll have to push this in, hold this, and then you're going to have to get a lighter and light this manually once you get propane on here. Okay? Shower, or the sink here, this is just going to pull out, and you're going to go up and down, hot and cold. Microwave, pretty explanatory how microwave works, right? Put the food in, set the temperature here, and hit start. Smoke detector here. This is just going to be a 9 volt battery, which is going to open up here. Just a 9 volt battery. Furnace is going to vent just a hot air here in this one, in this particular trailer. Refrigerator here. Now, this is going to be a two way refrigerator. It's going to work on gas, or this is going to work on electric. You're going to be able to set your temperature here through the five. So you want to start out in three. If it's not cold enough, you could always go up to four or five. But if it's freezing, then you want to turn it down. Okay? Put it on automatic mode is going to be the best possible mode. So if we unplugged, you got the gas on, it's going to automatically jump over to gas. It's going to get colder a lot faster on gas. You're going to have to give yourself 12 to 14 hours for this refrigerator to get cold before you want to put the food in. The controls for the AC are going to be right here on it. Okay, you're going to be able to set the temperature here that you guys want. Then you got the vents here. Filters, depending on how much you're going to use your AC, you'll have to keep those clean as possible. Table here is going to drop down into a bed here. These uh, legs will drop out. That table is going to sit here. And then this will make unto a bed here. You got storage underneath here, storage underneath there, here. This is going to be the main bed here, and then this is also going to rotate up here. So this will come up here, this will rotate up in here. This is just going to hold on here, and then this cushion will come up and make into a couch when you're not using it as a bed. Okay? Furnace controls are going to be here. Okay? So you're just going to turn this thing on, you're going to set the temperature you guys want. Furnace is going to kick in. It's going to try it at three times the light. If it doesn't lighten that third time, shut it off, reset it, it'll go again. Down here is going to be your converter. This is going to convert 110 power into 12 volt power. You're going to hear a fan noise from this. These are going to be all your breakers here. So you got a 30, which is the main. You're going to have a 20, which is going to be the AC. And then all the rest are just 
normal. So if they trip, you got to shut it all the way off to reset it. All your fuses here are going to be pretty much standard car fuses. If you hooked up your battery backwards, it could take out the green one, which is going to be a 30. Okay? So don't want to hook up the battery backwards. Any of these fuses go out, and you got to load on like that light's on. The red light here will come on telling you which fuse is out. Down here in this compartment here is going to be where your pump is going to be located and then that's where you're going to winterize your camper. There's going to be a hose in here already set up. You'll be able to put into a jug and winterize this thing. There's going to be a valve in here that you'll have to turn towards the hose or in line with the other thing for the fresh tank. Toilet here is going to be a straight drop in the tank. All your other sinks are going to have what they call P-traps. So you're going to have to, when you are winterizing, dump a little bit of antifreeze down each drain. Um, booster for your antenna is going to be here. So if the green light's on, that means you're boosting your antenna. And then you want to put your coax on here. The wall has a backer in here. So you can hook any bracket that you want for your TV. It's got the plug in here. And then this would be if you wanted the king antenna satellite. Um, the GFI is going to be in the bathroom here. So if this thing trips out, you just got to reset it for the outlets. Awning here, we can go outside. Awning is going to roll, roll out on your switch here. Like I said, you got to give yourself eight feet to run this thing all the way out. Now there's no stop on these buttons. So if you roll it out, it would keep rolling all the way out. So you always want to roll it up so the fabric's over the top. And then on here, you're going to be able to pull this down and cant it if you want the water to run off this side, that side. Maybe the sun is right out here. You want both down. On the shocks here, you would periodically want to wipe these down with a dry rag just so dust doesn't get in there and they'll fail. This awning set up so if it was really raining out hard, it would bag up and get most of that water off and then come back out. But if not, you'll have to take and work that water off to any specific corner. Okay, that should be it.